David De Gea is one of the finest goalkeepers of our generation. Extraordinary diving saves and the spectacular are part of the norm for the Spanish sensation. There is a standout trait that makes David De Gea unique in the footballing world, which is the ability to save with his feet. Even FIFA, the popular computer game, recognises this, and he's one of the few keepers that has the save with feet speciality trait. Whilst this has made waves across the footballing world to the extent where he's been labelled a revolutionary, actually his unique skill set is not so unique if you turn your eye to futsal. Futsal is a small-sided indoor version of the game that's played all over the world. It's very popular in Spain, where unsurprisingly David De Gea played futsal throughout his youth. Take note of the techniques, body shape and choices that the futsal goalkeepers make. You can see this method is deep rooted in David De Gea's makeup and he's successfully implemented many of these techniques into his footballing career. In order to be an effective futsal goalkeeper, you must be fast. While speed is an excellent skill to have, it's not enough alone. Futsal goalkeeping is about efficiency of movement and covering your angles in an optimal way. If you step back and think about it, if a shot is low and hard to your right, then why dive to your right? Why bring your shoulders all the way down to the ground when instead you could just move your feet across? Diving is often a huge motion, whereas a step can be done in half the time. This is an important concept to think about. I'm going to be providing a tutorial for the block save something David De Gea makes match-winning saves with on a regular basis. It's an easy technique to learn and could have a massive positive impact on your game. Before we explore and teach you perhaps the most useful futsal technique that you can take onto an 11-a-side pitch, I want to introduce you to VGFC Gloves. This fast-growing South American brand can also change your game for the better. And I'll also be giving away this very pair of VGFC gloves. All that you need to do to enter is subscribe to this YouTube channel, drop me a comment below and also follow me on Instagram. One lucky viewer will be picked at random and I'll send these out wherever you are in the world for free. Today I'm going to be teaching you the block save. The block save is a really useful technique that will give you another option in your armory when faced with a one versus one situation. By learning the block save, you will develop a technique that allows you to get out to the ball quickly, cover a really wide angle, but also not fully commit, thus allowing you to make follow-up saves if required. Firstly, you should be in a ready position. The perfect ready position is weight slightly forward, on your toes, with active hands and ready to spring into action. You should also roughly be in the centre of the goal, determined by the position of the ball. The block save works best when you're up close to the striker, so step one is advancing out towards the striker and closing the gap. This sounds easy, but there's a lot to keep in mind and a lot to work on. Ensure that you maintain short, fast and controlled strides. This allows you to react if you have to change direction or perform a save if the striker decides to shoot early. If you have huge, bounding, jumping strides, you could be halfway through a step when the striker shoots. And if you don't have connection with the ground, at that exact moment, you won't be able to move or propel yourself towards the ball. Also, the quicker you advance on the striker, the less time he has to react. If you're slow, he can spot this and subsequently change his plan. If you're on him like a flash, 
it forces him to make a decision and thus you are taking back the advantage. This is true whatever you choose to do. Footwork drills with cones practice short sharp movements that are excellent for improving this skill and should not be neglected in training sessions. The block save technique looks to maximise the area of the goal you cover in front of the striker. It's not as wide as a Schmeichel type split save for example, however if you get out quickly enough it won't matter and I'll show you why. You look to form a wall in front of the striker and block his path. Once you're out close to the striker, look to stop and set yourself. Once in this set position, bend the knee that's covering the far post and keep the leg that's covering the near post upright. You should end up in this sort of shape. This is relatively easy to do and you can learn this skill very quickly. There are however a few key points to touch upon to become a master of the block save. The first is the distance between your knee and standing foot. It should be about the width of your fist, certainly close enough so the ball can't get through. Second, the bent knee should not be on the ground and instead just hovered ever so slightly above. This is really important as if the knee gets rooted onto the ground, it does exactly that. Your weight gets rooted and sunk onto that knee and therefore you're stuck in that position. If you hover it, you remain in full control over your body and you can readjust in an instant. This is what perhaps makes this better than a full committal dive out to the striker's feet, which is very much an all or nothing tactic. Third and finally, the other thing to keep in mind is your hands. As you go down into the block safe, simultaneously bring your hands in a sweeping motion past either side of you. This covers a huge area and if the ball hits your arms, the forward momentum of the sweeping motion means the ball is often deflected to safety. Let's look at the block save from the ball's perspective. Look how much area we cover and think if you're a striker, how would you get past that? There's very little space anywhere to squeeze a shot in. So when you're out quick enough as a goalkeeper and perform a strong block save, they won't be scoring past you. Thank you for watching guys. I really do appreciate every view, subscription and comment. You leave me so many kind words and it, it means the world to me. Stay tuned and subscribe for more of futsal specific goalkeeping tips as well as 11 aside and even 5 aside goalkeeping tips. So this is the one channel you need. Thank you kindly for watching once again. Safe hands to all you keepers out there and see you soon. Bye.